uplifted. Yo, fresh off the high off life freestyle with our high off life challenge winner handles. What's going on, bro? Chilling, man. Chilling, chilling, hey, chilling. Hey, man. Yo, you snapped all over that, bro. Like, if if you haven't seen the video yet, go see it. But if you see my reaction, love, that love. shit was genuine. I wasn't faking that shit. <laughs> the lines was crazy in here, man. Like, the fuck, you don't battle rap? Like, what's good? We need you. We need you. I, I can make some calls, bro. I love battle rap, man. Hey, man, I, I might have to make some rap. calls, for real, bro. Like, love we love. I appreciate dead that. Dead ass. Like, for real. Right. I'd love to see that. But, no, the, the lines was crazy. I could tell you put time into it. How long did it take you to write that? Um, Probably took me about took me about a day to write it, but I was practicing just nonstop. Mm. Make sure I had it down. You how, did you, how did you approach it, uh, writing that verse? Maybe just approaching rapping and writing in general? Um, Well, this is, like, my first freestyle, you know, on camera type thing. So, I... um. With my music, I like to give a story and and give a message and tell a bunch of stories and stuff like that. Yeah. But I, like I said, I love battle rap. Yeah. So when I came up here, I was like, let me just give him some bars, man. Now I heard, that's, yeah, that's I heard it. it. Like just the way he was putting it together, like you'd mm -hmm. have, you know, four bars or eight bars with the, you'd have a scheme, but then a a, a topic and a subject right, and right. shit, and you would come back to it, man. Yeah. So battle rap has evolved so much. Who who are some cats that you you know maybe look up to or that you just watch? Um, I watch everybody, man. Yeah. I watch, you know, Smack, URL. Uh, KLD, KLTD, mm. um, everything. Every oh league I watch. Um, Young Ill is actually my favorite. I know he's not as popping right now, but yeah. the way he pieces stuff together, the intricacies. Young Ill, Lux, yeah. Hitman, Verb, everybody, man. I watch no everybody. Doubt. That's yeah. what's up, man. Yeah, we had we had Carter Deems in here yesterday. Word, yeah. I love Carter Deems. He went off man. the top too. He's cold. Yeah, he's he's might might be the most talented, like yeah. low key. <laughs> yeah, Deems is crazy, he's cold. man. So yo, let's let's rewind. Let's go back to let's, let's go. Let's talk about the high off life challenge. Okay. Um, did you submit for the first one that we did last year? I did not. Okay. So this is the I second one that that you're doing that okay. you've done. So yeah, we did it twice. Okay. okay. So, um, how did you hear about it? Uh, what was your your thought process, man? Because there's a lot of people that won't shoot their shot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's some people that feel like they're not good enough or they're too good for it. You know what I'm saying? So what was your thought process? How did you find it? How did you prepare? You know, how did you shoot it? You know, what did you feel when, when, when you, you know, got the nod that you was, you know, one of the top three? Um, I'll be totally honest. Um, I'm one of those people who did not think I was good enough. So my guy, he's actually a mutual friend of Z Rich. Mm -hmm. um, he actually made me do it. He was like, you know, just go up there, get your camera, drop some bars. I'm like, hey, can, can you bring a camera? He's like, no, just do it on your phone. I was trying to make excuses. Mm. Um, he said, do it, man. And, you know, I, I tried to spit some of my best. That was probably one of my best freestyles. And, that I had, you know, in the tuck. Yeah. So I uh, spit that. You know, I saw the love I was getting. I was texting people, hey, can you, you know, yeah. uh, make sure they saw it. And then y'all picked me, man. I was, it, was, it was really a shock to me. And, you know, love. I really, it's humbling. No, that, were you campaigning for it? Like once you did it, like you shared it with everybody? Because I know we asked everybody to tag their peoples. Like, and what did they f feel about it? You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm not mistaken, you don't do a lot of freestyles on your gram, do you? Oh, uh, no. No, right. I'm So when I'm, they seen that, yeah. it was for a purpose. Like, how did your people react to it? Um, they they loved it, man, because like a bunch of my people, they want me to rap. Right. They want me to rap. I want you to rap too. Yeah, man. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, this year, 2020, I made a made a you know after January, I'm kind of on like a little fast, but after January, I'm on it heavy, man. No I, I tried to campaign, tell everybody about it, cause yeah. you got to put in the work if you want to get something out of it. For sure. And you know, there's so many people that submitted. There's a very there's a lot of talented people, you know. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. But um, we ended up choosing two people from Atlanta or that live in Atlanta because I knew we wanted to make sure we had somebody here in the seat. Um, you know, uh, Kofi, who won, he's going mm. crazy right now, yeah. too, uh, on social media, YouTube, all that. He's going mm. crazy right now. There's no politics involved. Like, what we do look for, though, is cats that are nice, first and foremost, hands down. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people that was like that. But it's also the engagement, you know. Right, and right. It's, it's not politics, but it's also the engagement. Like, okay, there's people that's actively active and checking for them. Mm -hmm. That might be 20% of the, the decision process, but you were nice. And a lot of cats was nice, but we had to... Supposed to only have two, but we mm -hmm. had to have three because Cats was dope. So, yeah. you know, shout out to you, of course, Kofi, yeah. and um, also um, Mozzie. Mozzie snapped. Mozzie, yeah. Shout he snapped in here. It was crazy, yeah. man. Um, so, no, I'm, I'm happy that you're here in the seat. Um, um, maybe share a little bit about the bar exam. You've done the bar exam. You know, I'm not doing that now. Mm -hmm. I've done it for seven years. You know, I'm chilling right now. We're going to bring it back real tough and crazy, I hope y'all bring it back, man. Yeah, because it's been like, what, like three, four years since you did that, right? Yeah, yeah that was actually my first one. Well, my first performance ever, mm. bar exam. So this is the first performance ever, and this is your first, first like on yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, man. I was here. I, I was, I was trying to take it serious. I, that's when I moved to Atlanta. Ah, so yeah. I was trying to take it serious. Let me, let me do this bar exam. I tried that. Super nervous. It was a learning experience for yeah. me. You know, I didn't win it, but you know, I got some good feedback. I took that. You know, put that into my music. 
life hit me. I kind of had to take a hiatus, and yeah. now I'm, you know, I'm just I'm hungry. No I'm doubt, hungry. no yeah. doubt. Well, so what happened at the bars then? Were you asked to pass? Did you pass the bar? Or were you asked to pass? I the passed. Mic? I passed the bar. Okay, I passed dope. The bar, yeah, dope. Yeah. Did you make it to the top five? I did not. Okay, I did not. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, I'm man. trying to remember. It was, it was. I feel like it was two dope feet. It was uh, Love the Genius was there. Mm, she probably won that one. No, she left. Oh, she did. She yeah, left. she did leave yeah, that one. She was so dope, bro. She yeah, was dope. she ended up winning one though. Yeah. eventually. She, she, I think she. I think she was gonna be in the top five on that one, but she had dipped out. Uh, uh, she's not here, so yeah, love yeah. is dope. Shout out, love the genius, yeah. Buffalo. Do um, you remember who else was on that? I'm trying to remember. It was it was like a couple. There's a couple of dope people on there, man. No doubt, man. There was a lot of dope people that yeah. came to the bar exam. Yeah, there's a definitely. lot of great memories of the bar exam. Yeah. Past the bar, past the mic. You're performing for a, a panel of industry judges and a, a room full of peers. You know, yeah. a lot of people would complain that they rapping in front of rappers and shit like that in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I made the problem a solution by putting them against their peers or at least respectfully in a room full of their peers and it was past the bar past the mic either way you was going to get that feedback Thanks. and and try to learn and develop from there and you're saying that you i definitely learned definitely no doubt yeah, man definitely. no doubt well it's good to know that you know that yeah, had a place in, in in your career um in your path man and, and we're here today you know high off life freestyles crazy what are you working on right now what can we expect from you here in 2020 i know more rapping but do you have any projects or any interests um you know uh, 2020. Right now, actually, I have uh, two EPs out, a few singles. Um, they're not from 2020, but 2020, we're expecting an album. Okay, well, talk, let's talk album. about the, the EPs that are out right now because we want to get those. Um, the first one's called "Wait for It." Um, that's just the, some random songs that really sonically sounded, you know, alike. I put them together. A real dope project, I feel like. And then I have a, another one that dropped last year in July um, called "Black Matter," mm. and that's about it's the name. You know, Black Matter is just uh, lifting up, you know, people of color, talking about different things, um, oppression in society, all that. So it gets kind of deep. So. And that's on streaming services? Yes, okay. on all streaming services. And that's under the name Handles with a Z, right? Handles with a Z. Handles McGee. Handles McGee. Handles McGee. With a Z. Yeah. No doubt. Okay, so let's talk about 2020. What are we working on now? 2020, man, I have a project coming out that I, I hope to drop sometime this summer. Um, things happen, but I hope to drop it this summer. It's called uh, Beautiful Death. Um, it's actually me rapping after I die. So like mm. the first song, I jumped out of plane and died. Second song is like my brother going through like the five stages of grief. Mm. Third song is me at my funeral saying, no, I don't come to my funeral now. You didn't listen to my music while I was alive. Mm. So it's like that. It's like a, it's a whole theme thing. I have two mixtapes from way back when I used to do it kind of for fun. And those are all themed as well. Oh, like, that's sick, man. Yeah, that's so, what's up. Like Rhyme and Reason is beautiful. Mm, it's beautiful, yeah, man. That's what's yeah. up. So we can expect that real soon, right? Yeah. No yeah. doubt. Shout out your Instagram and where we can find that music when it drops, bro. Just search Handles33. Three, three. Once again, that's Handles with a Z, 3-3 three, three on all social media. That's it's the same name everywhere. And if you want to search it on all streaming platforms, Handles McGee. Make sure you just type Handles McGee. I'm not that famous yet. But if you type Handles McGee, it'll pop up, man. You'll see all the stuff on there. We're trying to change that. Make sure y'all yeah. follow this, man. Yeah. Share this freestyle. Share this video. Um, I'm going to put some game out here before we get out, get out the way. You got to put yourself out there, man. Yeah. You got to shoot that shot. You know what's insane is that some people will put a lot of money into a, a video, a big budget, get red cameras, and you know what I'm saying, trying to go crazy to shoot this video for a song that might be unproven, right? Mm-hmm. When at the end of the day, some people just want to see your talent, yeah. you know? Yeah. So the fact that you shot a video on your phone mm-hmm. and just rapped like that, people wanted to see your talent. And they saw through all the politics bullshit. They saw through all, they just seen somebody with some talent. Right. And they reacted to that. We reacted to that. Yeah. I think there's a, a threshold for independent artists where it's like you're either going to show us your talent or you're going to show us your art. Mm-hmm. And it takes a lot of money to invest in yourself to show people your art sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it does click. And when it does, it's beautiful. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But I think a lot of artists can bank right now on just showing their talent right. and getting, getting a reaction. Right. And then you'll probably get a lot of positive feedback and be like, yo, you should keep doing that or you should do like this or I love that. And then you can start dipping your toe in the art and showing it to people. I think a lot of people hustle backwards in getting out their art first before their talent. And mm-hmm. then when we're looking at their art, we're like, yeah, I see your art, but where's the talent at? Yeah. You know, where the bars at? Where's the substance? Where's your story? A lot of people need that. So my, my advice is always to put that out first before you just start blowing money on things that you think are gonna hit when you don't know if they're gonna hit at all because you haven't got it out to people to check out first to check out your talent, you know what I mean? That's but uh, yo, That's it's real. a pleasure having you, man. Pleasure being Again, here, Again, man. man, you Appreciate snapped. You.
McGee. Handles McGee, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High off life freestyle. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. Get these bars and the interviews in your inbox. You got any questions for him, any of us, me, Z Rich, shoot us a DM, hit us on Instagram. My Instagram's M-I-C-X-S-I-C, Twitter, all that, man. I'll see you soon. Peace.